All right, let's get started here. Okay, so today is November 22nd, uh, 2011, and it's approximately 14 months after your um, your ketamine coma, okay? And it's and last time I saw you was about, uh, it was in January, so it, it was about 10, 11 months ago that we first saw you. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, you've been very due diligent with regards to the heat of pull exercises. I believe you said like five, to, five days a week, yep, maybe up to six. 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, <coughs> that's how I can attribute, we just did your pain thresholds and there's been a dramatic improvement uh, without ketamine since mm -hmm. the last time mm -hmm. I saw you. Now mm -hmm. you did have a ketamine infusion, a three day ketamine infusion the last time I saw you, but the point is that you're, uh, you're uh, pretty much almost back to normal as far as your pain thresholds are concerned, okay? Yay, right, exactly, exactly. So, um, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact you've been so due diligent with the heat of pull exercises. Now, we did talk about that a little bit um, just a little while ago, but let's go back over this so we understand why, uh, you know, what, what, what that's all about. Mm -hmm. First of all, um, if you get in the water, if it's cold, that's okay, but after three minutes, if it's still cold, got to get out. You can't chill your muscles down. Number two, the workout should only be for about 30 minutes. No more than 30 minutes. should be continuous. No mm -hmm. interruptions. Don't stop and have a champ glass of champagne or nothing like that, okay? <laughs> right. Just continuous. And you're going to be measuring your exercise tolerance. We, we, we talked about that, didn't we? Yes. And you try to make it as relaxed and profounding an experience as possible, leaving this little rat. Is that a rat? Are you a rat? No. no. Okay, what's your name? Jacob. Hiccup? Jacob. Oh, Jacob! Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> okay, um, so you don't want a lot of distractions around when you're trying to, trying to relax in the water. We also talked about this Watsu thing, and you informed me of something that I think is important, and that is you got the video or the DVD from them, and they talked about doing some passive manipulations. I'm telling you right here on the record that you've got to tell them to stop that mm -hmm. with CRPS patients, okay? Mm -hmm. This is very dangerous to do that. I didn't know they were doing that, okay? Mm -hmm. So if I known, I would have told them to stop, don't do that. But th there's other parts to that that are, can be extremely beneficial, okay? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so any questions about the exercise part of this? Uh, okay. I don't think so. All right, now, are you ready to do some, uh, we're gonna test your function now and compare it with what it was before. So the first thing I want you to do, do the vertical finger test. Please look straight ahead, don't follow me. Are you having any pain when you do that? No. You didn't have any pain uh, last time you were here uh, 10 months ago, and you don't have pain now. Now take that right hand, put it behind your head, please. Okay? Have any pain when you do that? No. You didn't have pain back then, and you don't have it now. Now take that left hand behind you. You have any pain when you do that? No. Now you did have some pain in that left shoulder last time I saw you, you know, uh, some right. 10, 11 months ago. So that's resolved, okay? Mm -hmm. Now take your right hand out in front of you, open and close it as fast as you can. That a girl. Good job. Over here, do the same thing. Fast, fast, fast. Very good. Excellent job. Now what I want you to do here, Melanie, I want you to get up there. And uh, we're just going to, uh, we know that you're not having any pain when you walk normally. but So we're going to put you through the challenge because you did have some pain in your left leg last time. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to ask you to walk on your toe. Three steps forward, please. Okay, three steps back, please, on your toes. Very good. Do you have any pain in that left leg? No. So that's disappeared. The next thing I want you to do is walk on your heels, please. That a girl. Good job. And walk on back on your heels, okay? All right, very good. Now, did you have any pain when you did that? Actually, you didn't this time. So okay, so all right, so you didn't have any pain. No, that's good. Okay. Um, go ahead and, and sit down, please. Okay. Okay. Now, um, so without ketamine, for further ketamine infusions, since the last time I saw you, you've actually made, you know, significant gains in your function and in your pain thresholds. Mm -hmm. So that's, uh, that's good news. Um, let's turn over here to your husband. Did you have any, any additional issues that you think we needed to cover today? No, I don't think so. Right. My comment is that you're doing all the right things. I mean, you're, getting, you're engaging regular heat to pull exercises. Um, and I think if you continue to do that and try to avoid major n injuries, you know, I think you should do just fine. We also talked about the importance of uh, sleep, didn't we? Yes. We talked about trying to not depend on, you know, the, the control substances like the benzodiazepines mm -hmm. and find ways to so solve the, the sleep problem without relying on chemicals. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how you have to pace yourself. In other words, you have to find ways when you can't sleep so that you're not ca caught up getting up early in the morning and, and, and totally frustrated mm -hmm. because stress is one of your worst enemies, okay? Right. So, um, and a good clinical psychologist that works with a lot of chronic pain patients can come up with some pretty creative ways of dealing with the, the sleep issue without having to resort to chemicals, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, um, I can't think of anything else. Yeah, ask Jacob what he thinks from the whole thing. What do you think, Jake? Did, did this help your mom? 
Yeah, yeah. I think it helped her a lot. It did. All right. So what? So uh, what do you got? What are you doing together? Are you guys uh, hanging out together now? More? A little, yeah. What do you see different about mom from the time she had the coma to now? Uh, I think that before the coma, after she died, as far as see that it was really bad. Like couldn't walk for five minutes without having pain for the next week, and now she can walk. For 60 minutes and have pain for five minutes and so yeah. it's pretty good yeah so you got you got your mom back mm -hmm. she came back to planet earth before you <laughs> <laughs> so how old are you nine nine what, what grade are you in sixth sixth grade you're not in college yet he's close uh, you're close all right very good <laughs> all right i can't think of anything else uh how about you anything okay very good no,